I'm here in Seymour, Victoria, to meet the newest members of the Slater family. This is Chester. Chester. Named by Jake after a chestnut because of his colour. And then there's Joey. No, not named after Andrew Johns. I named him Joey because he's cute and I guess Joey's a cute name. And it's all part of the bigger plan for life after football for Billy and Nicole, who actually met because of their love for horses. Well, here we are, back where it all began. Did it all start in the stable? <laughs> <laughs> Probably 13, I hope not. Uh, yeah, we started out um, in Pony Club, let's say. Bill doesn't like to use that term. It doesn't sound as manly. <laughs> uh, we met at Pony Club. We were about 13, 14, um, doing show jumping and all that sort of stuff. Our son, Jake, is so competitive and he just thinks that he and Billy are the best at everything. He doesn't know that I was actually better than Billy <laughs> at riding horses. What was your first impression of Nicole when you met? Oh, we were only kids, so uh, we certainly got along really yeah. well. We were great mates. It was not until how many years later was it that we reunited? Mm, probably about six or seven. So you, from a young age, both of you have always loved horses? Yeah, that's something that we've always uh, had in common. And when we got together, we, we always wanted to live on a farm. And as well, like, we want to bring our kids up the way we were brought up with that lifestyle of having the outdoors, getting on a motorbike or having the horses or, you know, we're very fortunate with our property. You know, we've got all of those things to give to our kids. And trust me, they're going to grow up a lot better than what we had. So we're really looking forward to that as well. So tell us about the horses and what it is you love so much about them. You know, I, I was working in the racing industry when I was 12, 13 years old. I uh, spent a little bit of time down south uh, working for Gay Waterhouse. You know, I've always been interested in the breeding side of things. Bought a, a brood mare in 2016. Now I have two. Got a great association with Woodside Park Stud, and you know, they're a great support for me to get my business up and running. You know, I want to breed good racehorses, and hopefully we can breed a champion one day. They're very cheeky today. Nicole, what did you love about horses? I just have a massive passion for animals in general. Yeah, it won't just yeah, be a stud farm. a chicken or yeah. a rooster. I did, was, yeah. yes. <laughs> People I... have dogs and cats, Nicole yeah. had a chicken. Yeah, yeah, didn't have, uh, <laughs> didn't have many friends, so I, I used to dress up a rooster. His name was Ashley. So explain the whole breeding setup that you've got here for people who might not understand too much about it. Yeah, so we've got um, two yearlings on the ground now, a little written tycoon. We own his mum, her mom and he's really exciting. He's obviously out of one of Australia's best stallions. Champion Victoria sire this year, probably known for his two-year-old crops. Uh, he's won the Magic Millions, he's won the Golden Slipper, which is the richest two-year-old race in, in the world. And yeah, Ritten Tycoon's um, doing fantastic things and, and we've got one of his progeny, which is super exciting. Regarding the business, how does it work? We're looking to sell our yearlings through the, the sales, whether that be through Inglis or the Magic Millions in January. Yeah, and hopefully, people can buy them and, and then go on and achieve success. And if anyone knows success, it's Billy Slater. He's done everything in rugby league. He's won multiple grand finals, origin series, world cups, golden boots, dally M's, the list goes on. And this week, one of the greatest we've ever seen announced he was hanging up the boots. I'd just like to thank the game of rugby league. It gave me heroes when I was a boy and a chance to become one myself. So given he has done it all, what are Billy's goals for the rest of the year? I suppose my goals are, are smaller, little things that I want to improve on and, and I've always wanted to get better, uh, whether it be a skill or a little bit faster, a little bit stronger. Retiring from representative football sort of made me reflect a little bit on, on my origin career and, and my test career. As you do get older, you, you start thinking back and all the good times and, and all the tough times that you've had as well. Um, you know, it shapes you into the person that you are and you really appreciate those times when you achieve success and um, you have some good moments with some good mates. Magnificent Slater! How good! It's Women in League round, but what does it mean to you? I think my role as Women in League is, like I said, switch off when Billy gets home and let's go and do things outside footy. I couldn't stress enough how important that is for their mental health. I've got my beautiful wife supporting me in my career. My daughter runs uh, the kicking tee out to the boys and, you know, it's, um, it, it's great to have them involved. You know, mum was there for me when I was growing up. She was my taxi, travel agent cut the oranges up, she washed the jerseys, done all the things that mums do and you know there are plenty great women involved in our game and um, it's great that we have a round to appreciate them.